God. Thank you, guys. Watching live at home or watching the recording. And everyone down here in the basement. Thank you guys so much. Let's hear it for Bright Corners. Come on now. You at home, you know you love that.
down from where you were. The music box is drifting, shifting, shimmering. Streaming live on Facebook and YouTube. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share. Donations can go to Venmo at Kosho Live. And don't forget to check out our website, kosho.live, for all things Kosho. Before we get to the action tonight, uh, just a quick reminder this weekend, Saturday, October 28th, is Halloween Jam. That's at Kennet Flash and the, uh, the action there starts maybe around 1.30, 1.45. There are 11 acts, a bunch of your favorite local bands, all doing cover sets. And, uh, you know, maybe some people from the Kosho crew might even have a little thing going on there. So I don't even, yeah, maybe you should check it out and see what's what. Uh, so that out of the way, tonight we have an awesome show lined up. We got the diaphone. Followed after a brief intermission with Brig Aurora. So let's get to the business. The diaphone, take it away. the ground and say goodbye well, I'm a bird without wings now but you were born in the sky and right what you too scared to think The story extinguished in a puddle of ink. These strange conversations completely abandoned for years and years. You read the. Question out 
the air is settled down Well you can see the whole city But not hear a sound Again. But every time it gets louder, but that was never the plan. Love. We 
did it with nothing And now I get half This is what they left us They can have it all back If this is what they left us They can have it all Sounds close. Yeah. Good enough. Close enough for rock and roll. Oh, I have to start, huh? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Is there anything left outside my door? It keeps getting colder out there, but I had to be sure. I'll take a walk. Yeah. 
this world take Crowd. <laughs> yeah, it's very nice. Amazing. All right, beer break. <laughs> Hopefully, I'm still in tune.
rocked out too hard. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, there was a, um, yeah, what was the line? Yeah, stay and wither in the sun. That's that's kind of <laughs> what's happening here. So I was I was on point. Do you need my sunglasses? Yeah, maybe I need your sunglasses. So <laughs> they were in my bag. I figured, why not? Yeah. <laughs> Scrappy cat in Lansdowne. Bring it Shout out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, that was very <laughs> kind and responsive. <laughs> <laughs> And bother you not to see five years ahead Cause you know I'll be around To hear all the sounds So uh, we're going to do a new song uh, now. And by new, we mean finished it up today. So <laughs> what could go wrong? What could possibly go wrong? Right. <laughs> It'll be entertaining no matter what.
unraveling without any eyes on That's our first time hearing the lyrics to that song. So. <laughs> All about the last minute. <laughs> yeah, exclusive. Yeah.
the house seems so much darker on the inside and out. In spite of the paint. going to be our last song we remembered um and this is a really cool thing thanks to the co-show for having us and all Hell 75 yeah, of the <laughs> people here <laughs> and if you're on the internet stick around for brig aurora up next I'm so sorry, but dear God, that's out of tune. <laughs> <laughs> I like that tremolo, though. <laughs> yeah, tremolo covers a lot of ills, right? It almost covered it, but not really. All right, there we go. <laughs> this time. See them crawl up to the top. Just a tap and watch them drop. Their only answer, but you said that you would stop. You said that you would stop. Why did 
do you look so confused? You never had that much to lose. Thank you guys so much. That was awesome. Um, before I pepper you with some questions, I just thought, uh, could one you introduce the band for me? I'll, I'll let him do that. All right, I'll do that. Why not? Um, so I'm I'm Dave Rogel. Um, I'm the the guy who can't sing and gets distracted by guitar. Uh, <laughs> This is Frank on keys, um, Melissa on drums, Josh Ballard on bass. Nice. So um, now I understand you have a little bit of some kind of Halloween show going on this Friday, right? So yes, tell we me, do. Tell me a little bit about this. So we're going to be um, we're going to be part of a, uh, a, s a Halloween special that's part uh, that's affiliated with a series that we do every fall in Lansdowne called Open Sound. Uh, normally we do that on Thursday nights. Um, usually th this last month or this last time we did it in September. So, uh, yeah, al always in the fall, always Thursday nights, always in Lansdowne. Always Check free. It out. That's Al how we met you guys. We met Redbirds through that, and yeah, yeah, yeah. A great, yeah, exactly. great band. Nice. Yeah. But uh, this particular year we figured, uh, what the hell? Let's do something weird, and so we're doing a Halloween cover show. Yeah. So, uh, so we're gonna be playing Counting Crows songs. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Woo! You gotta love them, yeah. right? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> nice and so, yeah, we'll uh, we'll be we'll be having some fun. Some uh, some other bands are what 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 are the other ones? Um, there's playing? a Green Day cover band, a Cranberries cover band, and a Cure cover band. So it's a pretty '90s oh, night I if like you're it. into that yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yes. <laughs> so so let me ask you this. Um, I think you would let slip to me before uh, when we were catching up a little bit earlier that. One of the tunes you played tonight actually started was written as like an electronic song and you guys translated it to kind of like, you know, rock band. And uh, so tell me a little bit about that and what, what, what the uh, challenges are like doing a thing like that. <laughs> well, so the, this, this all happened. Uh, we've been playing together for a pretty long time, but uh, we were playing different things at various points. And uh, way back in the day, we had a, a different drummer and uh, we've just played, you know, rock music. And this particular drummer decided to move to Argentina, like a total jerk. Um, <laughs> uh, we, we, we love him. Uh, what's up, Sandro? Where are you? He's from um, Delaware. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> um, no, he's awesome. Uh, but he moved to Argentina, so we were like, oh, what the hell are we going to do now? So we decided to go completely wacko direction and, uh, and did a drum machine and did a bunch of electronic stuff. So we've morphed back into kind of a normal rock band, but we decided to play a couple songs from that era um, <laughs> in this configuration. So, uh, yeah, w I mean, you learning weird programmed drum parts, I guess, was, was part of the challenge. Um, <laughs> yeah. And, yeah, trying to play things. So luckily we have a keyboard yes. player who could play some of the things. Frank is new, and he's awesome, yeah. <laughs> yeah, what's, what's normally a, a goofy... Uh, 80s keyboard solo. I had to figure out how to play that kind of on guitar. I don't know if it worked or not, um, but yeah, get, went, went for it. Why not? Sure. And you know, is there like a kind of like 
a big difference in like the actual sound palettes themselves, you know? I mean, I electronic music. I think so, totally, yeah. yeah. We, tried to, we tried to stick to the feel of the song, but um, obviously we're gonna give it its own, give it its own uh, <laughs> flavor. In, in the in the different setups, so yeah. Yeah, part of why we transitioned back to a rock format is we were carrying so many keyboards and we had lights and all kinds of stuff to make, because you can't, we needed something visual. Guys, it was awesome, drummer. unless yeah. you had to actually set it up yeah, and, and then <laughs> take it home with you so later. So this is a dream, bringing a couple cymbals and guitar and bass, so yeah. Yeah, yeah being normal is easier, yes. much, much, much <laughs> easier. That's, that's so they tell me. <laughs> so yeah, so so yeah. So my mom tells me, she's like, Chris, couldn't you just be normal? Um, <laughs> so tell me a little bit about your guys' upcoming EP, please. Yeah. So um, we've we yeah we we've decided albums are albums are just yeah that, that's that's too much. Let's let's be let's be reasonable. Everyone has so the attention span for yeah, an exactly. album. Exactly. So <laughs> as as we come up with songs, we're just doing them in batches of 5 or 6 or something like that. So we've got um we've got I'd say 90% done, another batch of 5 songs uh, on the way out including some of the ones from tonight. Um so yeah, we've 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 got previous previous stuff released and then that should be out within a month of yeah, 5 new 5 new ones. Cool. And where can the audience go? And find uh, some they of this? can go to. Well, they can. They can pretty much Google the diaphone because. Um, it, so it's a. It's a terrible name that no one can remember or pronounce, <laughs> but that means that no one else has that name. So it's kind of you know both sides of the coin. Uh, so yeah, the diaphone, D I A, and then phone like phone. P H O N E, yeah. just in case. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Um, but on Spotify, we have a Bandcamp. Um, I think all the streaming stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Link. Deezer, if you care about quality, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we'll definitely be keeping an eye out for that. Uh, before we go to intermission, any final words? Thanks for doing this. Yeah. Th this kicks ass. Yeah. Absolutely. I love it. Well, thank yeah. you so much for being on. You sounded great. Stick around, everybody. We'll bring Aurora up after the break. It's Co Show Live. See you then.
starve the child Is that what it means? Being polite, you fucking hypocrites Make no sense You are just a bunch of cowards Scared of women Having a voice So you deprive us of the choice I'm more than the organs inside me I am not at all
There's always lots and lots of cameras to make this smell of decon strong. Well, we turn on the sound, cut the lights, made a rounds, and carry on towards night. Call me in tonight, couldn't believe he was slow to see if I believe anything. Why did I choose to be?
make some bread, try not to go insane. Listen to my lies when I say. Singing to the 
child, is that what it means? Being polite, you fucking hypocrites make no sense. You are just a bunch of cowards, scared of women, and in your voice. So you deprive us of the choice of more than the organs inside me. I am not a old body. With God, we got what's that? It makes me wanna cry. I feel so helpless, and I know the reason why. Let's check my stuff now. We won't give up the fight. This all we will not know for sure. Thanks for hanging in with Co Show Live. We got a special band for you, Brig Aurora. Brig Aurora, show us what you got. <laughs>
viewers yeah all right Aurora, we're happy to be here so um this next one um for my day job i work as a uh, like a travel agent kind of concierge and um i have to call out to you know restaurants around the world and stuff and uh i had to call out to this one restaurant that had a view of the eiffel tower and it was gorgeous and i called the phone and this woman picked up the phone and she was like hello my name is celeste how can I help you? And my heart was stolen, man. <laughs> so uh, this song goes out to this random French woman who I haven't had any contact with since. <laughs> All right. But 
it's out of my hands And I don't understand The sentiment de moi Pour toi Le sentiment de moi Pour toi Le sentiment de moi pour toi, le sentiment de moi. Pour toi, soleil. I'll see you in the sky. You in the sky. And when I close my eyes. It's you that's floating by that's floating by The sentiment de moi Pour toi Le sentiment de moi Pour toi Le sentiment de moi Pour toi Le sentiment de moi Pour toi
Thanks. Thanks. So what do we got now? Woo. Can we dream this right now? Yeah. Okay. All right, this next song, we uh, we went to a cabin in the middle of nowhere in Maryland, and uh, and we wrote this song. Yeah. And we're going to try to play it in a kind of different way tonight. Yeah. A little groovier. Cool. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Beautiful studio audience. Yeah, the vibes are immaculate up in here. <laughs> we had a lot of fun watching uh, the diaphone, right? The diaphone play. Yeah, 
You yeah. guys were dope. They rocked out. I was worried I got the name wrong. I was like, why is nobody clapping? <laughs> <laughs> um, what do we got next? I have no idea. Surrender, okay. There we go. Oh, cool, cool. There it is. This is one of our newer tunes. Oh, no, one, two, two more. Yeah. Two, two. Dos Mars. Dos Mars. Dos Mars. See the 
been writing songs. I've been trying. What you been trying to do? To make them shorter. That's right. <laughs> Cause they all feel too long. Okay, now uno mas. This time we yeah. mean it. We mean it this time. Give us one more then. Oh, no. What do you mean? One more what? One more. Yeah. One, more. one more in addition to the one more? Yeah. Are you s- <laughs> <laughs> All right, this, this will be our last song. It's called Avalanche.
cool. Hey, thanks for having us. Yeah, thank this you, Kosho. This is like this is really cool. the best thing ever. <laughs> this is such a jam, dude. This is awesome. No, thank you, because uh, that was fantastic. Thanks. Um, yeah, can I have one of you guys introduce the band members, please? I guess I can do it. Yeah. He's got uh, it. All right. Uh, um, to my left on bass, Mr. Drew Barrett. You. Yeah. 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 Oh. Um, to my far left on the keys, Mr. Ryan Michaels. Yeah. Okay. On the drums, Cody the Kid Diduck. Yeah, oh, the, yeah. Kid. the Kid. <laughs> my name is Chris Rotel on guitar. Damn yeah. straight in there. Right. And that's that's Brigger Roar. That's us. Yeah. All right. So uh, now I remember the first time I saw you guys. I think was back in July, and that was a part of the summer band jam. Uh, series right yeah. and um yeah and uh so you guys uh won your round and then even went on to the finals and won that too so yeah. tell me a little bit about that experience and uh you know how uh, you did you have a good time oh, oh yeah we had yeah. a hoot and a holly. we had such a blast man there were so many great bands there man and it was just the opportunity to connect with all of them you know i mean Delaware's not necessarily known for the scene, so yeah. being able to meet other people that love the thing that you love, I mean, it's its bigger than anything. its, it's, it's It changes your world in a way. You realize that you're not, like, so alone in this thing. Like, other people are fighting for what you're fighting for, and it's, it's awesome. Yeah. yeah. It was great. And that even got you a ticket to play in Hot Jam as well, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, let, let the good times roll. What was that yeah. like? Hot Jam was fun. That was yeah. probably, like, the most fun we ever had yeah. playing yeah. together. Yeah. Yeah. Like, stupid fun. That, we just, that was so much fun. Yeah. It was, uh, yeah. I, I don't know how else to explain it. Yeah. I mean, we yeah. just, we just, that was, like, a vibe that night. Yeah. yeah. We had a lot of fun. I think everything about it really gave us a chance to kind of figure out what, because that was a very transitory time for us, I feel like. Wait, 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 wait. Get this man a microphone. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, here I am. So I feel like that really, <laughs> that was a time where we really got to experiment with what we were like in front of people and work out a lot of different songs that we had been kind of messing with for a while. So I feel like it really was a fun opportunity for that. And uh, yeah, these guys. It also was nice that the, like, the, um, I guess I don't want to say competition aspect, but the competition aspect was like off of that too. Like it was, right. it felt like a celebration of like everything that had yeah. just happened, in a, in a way as, as well. So. Right on, and that yeah. and that was at the Yorkland Center of the Creative Arts. Correct. Yeah, I did yeah. a magic camp there when I was younger. Yeah, I did oh, yeah. a nature yeah. camp there. <laughs> cool. Um, yeah, because that that was a cool stage there too, like a really yeah. deep, like big yeah. stage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which was really cool. A lot of room to boogie about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, so you guys have um, an EP out called Cerebral Pendulum, and then an album. Is that a self-titled yeah. album, Brigorora? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so uh, when, when did you make those? And, and tell me a little bit about the uh, recording process and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the EP, um, uh, shout out to Jameson, if you're watching, man. Um, him and I wrote that. He was a member that used to be in the band, and uh, we wrote that in my bedroom, this was like peak COVID. Um, he was on winter break from school. He had some time. And uh, we just locked locked ourselves in my bedroom and wrote. Um, we thought we were just writing music. We didn't realize we were starting something that was going to grow into, you know, some of my favorite people on earth being a part of. Um, but, yeah, we wrote those four tunes. I think it's four. And, um, yeah. The songs that we, like I said, we didn't know they would mean so much to us at the time. And, uh, yeah. I, yeah. I sort of came in to, like, just sprinkle stuff on top of them, and then it turned into, like, me being a part of the group. And then that's a nice segue into the album story, is, is that the same thing kind of happened where the three of us were, like, we wanted to make something that had more of just, like, a live band feel. And Cody happened to come around at that time, and, and we were like, hey, you want to play drums on our album? <laughs> and then we kidnapped him essentially yeah then he never left yeah <laughs> um but yeah that was a uh, all all were recorded in the same house that ryan and i lived in together for a year in bear delaware yeah um and that that was yeah it was in a very formative time for us creatively and yeah uh, shout out to our landlord tabitha castro <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> she need a lawyer. Yeah, she was a lawyer. She had a, a dope house. I mean, yeah. I don't know why she let us live in there, but thank you, Tabitha. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. So what do you guys got? Anything coming up on the horizon? Yeah. Um, at the moment, we're, we're kind of working on a little bit of a rebrand, um, trying to figure out exactly, like, we're all over the place musically yeah. between the four of us. We, I, uh, yeah, we, we did lose a member, so that's changed the kind of... Did he move to Argentina? Dynamic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure. <laughs> Theme of the night. <laughs> um, but yeah, so yeah, I think that it, we're definitely in a period of, like, rediscovering what we are as a group and um very excited about it it's just like the the doors kind of have been blown wide open in in one way and yeah and it feels like overwhelming but exciting at the same time so yeah. there's nothing like in the uh near future that we really like have booked or anything but yeah i'd say you know i don't know we'll probably take the rest of the year to kind of regroup ourselves yeah and come out Swinging in 2024. <laughs> cool. 24. Well, you'll uh, you'll definitely have to, uh, you know, I'll, I'll be keeping an eye on that because I definitely want to see what you guys have have coming up next because yeah. you guys killed tonight. Thanks. And, uh, thanks. Yeah, every time I've seen you, you guys have been great. So, um, yeah, thanks for coming on to the show. Before we uh, before we cut to the outro, you got any any parting shots? Hmm. I'm not sure. I didn't really think about that. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> think about it now. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> um, peace and love, sure. Yeah, peace and love. Spread love in the world. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. 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 No, but thank you for everybody yeah. that's yeah. tuning yeah. in. And anyone to fire at? No, <laughs> nah, we have nah, nobody we got to no. fire at. No. It's all love over yeah. here. Yeah. Name one bad landlord you've had. Ooh. <laughs> oh, you know what? My current landlord. Can I curse? Hell yeah. 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 Right. Piece of fucking shit, man. I... I hate this Shots landlord fired. with a passion. I have mice. I, I got mice. I, I don't know. Is he's he's actually dead? Oh, well, maybe that's why company. he sucks. It's a company. This is taking turns. <laughs> yeah, they tried to. So I didn't know my lease would re re up. I didn't know it was a reoccurring thing, like a subscription service. It's like Netflix. Yes, yes, like a parasite. Yeah. So I call the, the landlord, breaks. and I'm like, hey, I'm trying to move out. Where should I drop the keys off? And they're like, what do you mean move out? You're here for another year. And I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> so fuck them. That's all I got, honestly. <laughs> all right. Yeah. <laughs> fuck them. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, thank you, Brig Aurora. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> So, can I say, should I say, let me take it home. Um, special thanks to Tony and Autumn March coming out, giving us a special selection of some tasty brews. More to come with that because we might be going to the brewery real soon and uh, doing some little taste testing and stuff like that. So, uh, but thank, thanks you, thank you everyone tuning in to another great show, Co Show Live. Thank you to Diaphone, Brig Aurora. See you next week. Take care. Woo! <laughs>